you've obviously seen great leaders around the world and the United States. What are the qualities that you think great leaders actually have and the qualities that people who aren't great leaders fail to have? Well, integrity is at the center of being uh, a great leader. Uh, once you lose people's trust, you have nothing. Uh, I think great leaders are visionaries, and I mean by that that they see the world as it should be, not as it is. Uh, I think of Nelson Mandela, and I think how sitting in a jail cell for all of those years, did he not think, uh, well, when we finally are in power, blacks are going to dominate whites, rather than thinking of a multiracial, multi-ethnic South Africa that would be for all South Africans. Most importantly, um, I think great leaders have a sense of humility about what they can achieve. Humility. Humility. Versus arrogance. Versus arrogance. Right. Uh, arrogance and hubris are um, recipes for disaster. Um, my dad was, uh, my parents were great people. Um, they always taught me that you need personally to do three things. If you're going to lead and if you're going to be successful, the first thing is um, try to be twice as good. In other words, work hard enough to be confident that you've worked hard enough to be twice as good. Secondly, and remember, I'm growing up in segregated Birmingham, Alabama, so they were trying to armor me in some ways. Secondly, um, never consider yourself a victim. Because when you think you're a victim, you've given control of your life to somebody else. You may not be able to control your circumstances, but you can control your response to your circumstances. And then something that I tell particularly minority kids and, and women and, and others um, who are from populations that have been in one way or another um, uh, marginalized. My father once said to me, um, you know, if somebody doesn't want to sit next to you because you're black, that's fine, as long as they move. In other words, don't take somebody else's prejudice on you. It's their fault, their problem, not your, not your problem. And so don't be disabled by uh, people who may have prejudice.